Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raimat, or you can call me Ray for short. If you are new here, welcome. I create content about design, UX design, basically lifestyle and career tips. So I know um, I promised that I'll be consistent on this page uh, when I created it, but uh, for some months now I've been away. I've not been able to, you know, create content and. Uh, there's a lot of explanation for it, which I'll be um, sharing with you guys uh, maybe on my next uh, video. So, but today we'll be discussing interaction design, which is one of the things that I plan to learn uh, for Q2. Uh, I know that uh, my last video was, you know, um, sharing with you about Q1, and one of the things that I plan to learn for Q2 is interaction design. Today we'll be doing um, some kind of, uh, let's say, interaction 101 just a basic you know interaction uh, um, UI uh, for a for an onboarding mobile UI page for a food delivery app I, there's not much thought about it the design is just like you know basic something basic for the focus is more on the interaction aspect so without further ado let's jump right into the video guys okay welcome back so we are currently on Figma now and I've already um, I've already created a file for the uh, tutorial so it's interaction design 101 um, so like I mentioned it's a it's an onboarding page uh, for maybe a full ordering app or something so but like I am we are more concerned or our major focus is on the interaction so I'll be showing you that now so this is what interaction looks like So this is what interaction looks like. Make this full screen. Then hide this. Yeah. So let's just go over this again. This is what the interaction looks like. So it's a simple. It's a simple interaction for an onboarding page. So let's let's dive right into it. So I've created another page for the new one we're about to design. Let's create the frame. First thing. So let's use iPhone 11. I'm actually using iPhone 11. So yeah. Um, so let's just call this frame 1 or screen 1. Screen 1. And then screen 2 and screen 3 I like it that um, on Figma it automatically um, knows when like for example if you have like screen 1 or phone 1 or anything that you have that you have a number to it immediately you duplicate it it increases it changes the number to 2 3 yeah just like we have it here so I'm just trying to space it out so let's go over the design again so when I scroll, when I when I drag out, um, I'm going to let's go back. So whenever I drag out this particular screen, it looks as if this first screen is closing out, and then this new one is coming in. Then can you see the old screen is closing out, and then when you go back, it's the that other one is closing out, and the new one is coming in so that's what we'll be doing so in order to achieve that um let me first of all copy the color palette so this colors okay awesome so first of all what well, the first thing we want to do is create a circle so shit a very big circle let's do one two the circle should be big enough to cover the entire exactly the entire screen so we'll be putting it inside the frame well so we'll be creating three circles so ellipse one ellipse two then ellipse three uh, just like this and then we give it the colors of 
so I, I don't want to because we having like two circles so let's call this one circle big circle big circle one I'm copying this big circle two and then big circle three so the next thing we want to do is we want to put this circle inside the big circle for each screen inside the frame so we'll be doing that you know immediately you put the circle inside the frame it enters the frame so just make sure that it is aligned to the center so you can click on it and then do the alignment here click on it fix the alignment here then move the last one so you can see it is already at the middle all right done so the next thing we want to do is um we want to create a small circle so you know when i'm dragging when i'm sliding this screen out this screen is entering but this this screen is closing out right so what we do is we create another circle that we call circle small circle so let's make it a little bit uh, let's do 120 okay yeah so let's call it small circle so small circle will just be we have small circle one one then we have small circle two two and then we have three exactly so we move this to the bottom here and then to the bottom here so okay yes and this won't be at the bottom here but i'll show you what will happen so what we are basically trying to do now is that once i'm sliding from i'm going from this screen to this to this screen too it should close out this screen to a small circle and then open move like um, smart animates to this other screen so what will happen there now is that um we want to you know let me just show you again you we are moving from let's go back all right okay so we are moving from this screen so this is closing out and then this is coming in like that okay so um what we want to do is so circle two would be would be here so I will explain that what, what we are trying to do now so we are going to have okay I, I think I didn't I didn't arrange it well this small sample this one should have one so okay so circle two will be here so what it means basically is that What it means basically is that this once we are going from this circle to this circle so we have the three small circles and the three small circle we have small circle one arranges small circle uh, one two three right so from the interaction we know that this is closing out and this is coming in so this is coming in this red 
one is coming in and it's so what we are going to do now is we are going to have circle circle two because we know as we are sliding to this next screen this is coming in in a big form so we are going to move this circle to the top here and give it the color of circle two don't forget small circle two is the one at the top here and then we give it this color so what we are going to do is not going to be outside the frame but inside frame one so it's going to be hidden inside frame one so press shift and the arrow or um, arrow key and the top um up arrow key or top arrow key and move it out of the frame so it is going to be hidden right so that is for um small circle two so for small circle three so now you know we are screening uh, we are we are scrolling from screen one to screen two so when you are on screen two we want screen three to slide in 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 this big circle format right so what we are going to do is all oh, right okay so another thing that um that i just completely forgot to mention is that this small circle uh, circle should have the same the same name as the big circle right so the reason is that um when you are prototyping on figma it recognizes like um elements elements with the same name so if you are if an element has the same name as the next screen you are or the next um screen that you are trying to like navigate to it smart animates that uh, that that element so just like the way we are moving from sack so the way this circle is this big circle is if i put um this big circle um element if i put any element as big circle whether it is rectangle or circle it's going to smart animate it and make it look as if it is like and they are together in a way so it, re it recognizes elements that have the same name from one screen to another so so what what is going to happen now we can't have small circle here so um so what i want to do now is show you what is eating right so when i click or uh, when i clip so this this screen is currently clipped right so this check this clip content is checked so i will uncheck it so you can see the element that is hidden so this this small circle um element so it's not going to be small circle again we are going to change the um change the the name to big circle too so so it's going to be big circle too so what happens now is that since it has the same name as this the big circle here it's a smart animate these two together so i'll show you that in next like let me just do do the same thing for so let's clip this back and hide it so let's do the same thing for this um for circle three so what we are going to do is change this from small circle three to this so change it to small to be sorry to big circle three so we'll now give it this color and then we'll take it inside the screen too inside screen too i'm really trying my best to explain this as as much as i can as i can and i hope you guys understand um yeah so now um big circle three in like the small circle of big circle three is inside screen two right so now um so now if if i um prototype so let's quickly do a quick prototype right so i will do this i will connect screen one to screen two so um in prototyping right on figma you can only prototype frames you can't prototype like elements like this you can only prototype frames right so um so every time you uh when you move to the prototype uh, let me, i want to undo it i'm trying to make it as basic as possible for people that don't understand how prototyping works okay so um i want to lock these two screens so that they don't distract right uh these two big circle ones small circle size screen one so i'm connecting so once you want to prototype you go to prototype then you drag out this connector 
into like another frame so i'm connecting it to this and then um the next thing we want to do is these are the properties so what i so this is like the action so is it that uh, for this for this to have for for this screen to go to this screen that means i want to tap so that is the action here that's the default action so we can set it to on drag while overing you know um why why pressing key gamepad mouse enter mouse leave touch but what we want to use for this uh, tutorial we are choosing on drag because we want to drag out right so now when we click on on drag it's it, this is the screen that we want to what we want to do um so we want it to navigate to this screen so if i did me i want it to open an overlay so it's open this screen as an overlay or i want it to swap i want to close the overlay or i want to scroll back or open a link so those are the things that can happen but anyways what we want to do is on drag and navigate to screen two right so this is screen two here so that's those are the like the two screens that the two frames on the art board that you can navigate to so i'm choosing screen two as you can see here so here is going to show you the animation of what what is going to happen when you on drag to screen two so now i want to change the animation so i want to change the animation to slide out so i want to move from this screen to this screen so that it to slide out from screen one and screen two can slide in right so we are choosing slide out and then we are choosing this so so this is showing what, what happens as like this is just like a visual representation of you sliding from a to b um then this is like um the animations that would happen whether linear is in is out is in out so but we are going for is out i don't want to go into deep um discussion about that and don't forget check this smart animate uh this smart uh, smart animate matching layers so like i mentioned the other time it's a smart animate layers that are or elements that have the same name so remember that on screen one we already have a small circle that is named um, a small circle that is named big circle so because both um the small circle has big circle name uh, big circle two name it will smart animate the two screens together the, the two elements together so it will now animate it from big uh, from a small circle to a big circle which we will see very soon so this number here this 3000 milliseconds is the delay at which it animates so yeah so that's just it but let's do the same thing for this also um so we know we are moving we are on drag we are using the on drag um action and then we want to slide out also but all these ones are already pretty fine and yeah so let's see how it goes so let's play the flow um waiting for this to load hopefully my system is is not yeah so let's see can you see uh, do you guys notice how uh the blue is coming in exactly but it seems like the circle is not at the middle let's quickly fix that um so uh yeah here so it's not at the center so now yeah it's at the center so now can you see how it's yeah it's like entering and then the small circle the um circle one is going out so exactly the way would have it here so um let's go over it again so we are coming from we are coming from screen one now screen two is so every time i drag out screen two comes in and from like a small circle to a big circle and then here like this i hope you guys understand <laughs> yeah because yeah it's kind of complicated in a way while like trying to explain um i also want us to try something else also i want us to you know when we i i hope it works so when we drag um when we when we drag this uh when we drag this blue circle in the small circle leaves also so let's put 
sakugwan into this place so so we now do big circle one one look that's i get the spelling let's copy it so that all right because the name has to be like they have to rhyme so let's change this color to this and then move it out so now let's just see it again let's check it out again all right so so now can you see so what happens is that now circle one is closing out and then circle two is coming in exactly so instead of so what is happening here now is that circle circle three is coming in but circle two is not going out it's just stagnant but now on from screen one for screen one this um sorry for screen one one circle, circle one is coming in, circle, and um, one circle two is coming in. I mean, what I'm trying to say, one screen two is coming in. The circle is like, you know, the screen two is like opening um, in, and then screen one is closing out. So, but for, for screen three, because we've not added a small circle for circle two to close out, that's why it is stagnant. So let's quickly do that. Um, I just want to take my time to explain this part so we we can get it. Um, so I want to do what I want to put screen two here. Okay. This one. So we copy this and then we can paste it here. So instead of uh, um, so it's going to be I, I'm going to paste it. It's going to it's supposed to be at the bottom since it is um. Let's just bring it out. So this is like circle two or big circle two. So we want to bring it down here so that once um once we are scrolling to screen three, circle two can close out in a small manner, right? So let's move it out. So now it's hidden. So what happens now is that sorry, what happens now is that whenever we are opening this is you know closing out we can have the same interaction exactly for screen for this screen so um the next thing on our agenda is that um we we navigate back you know we are just for this for this um for the interaction we have now is just when you are moving from screen one to screen two to screen three so how do we go back because we can't go back if we want to go back from screen three to screen two to screen one how do we do that so this is what we we'll do we we'll connect um you know for this from this connection we have from screen one to screen two to screen three so now we now connect screen three back to screen two so we give it the same uh, the same interaction we have on drag then we now instead of you know this arrow going out going to the back it will be going to the front so now we are going from b to a it's just like we're going from three to two right so yes so and it's already smart animating matching layers so we do the same thing for screen two also we do the same thing for screen two trying to get okay um, because we don't want interaction already so we can add interaction here and then do on drag 
and then where do you want to undrag to now if it gets to screen one and then it has like we have slide out well yeah we are going back to them um, to to the front here so it's taking us back then we smell animate matching layers yeah that's it so so this is what we have we have this this so yeah and go back now and go back and so yeah so that's just like the basic um um yeah what's it called the basic introduction or yeah the the basic interaction that i wanted to show so now we can put the content we have in this um other design here so we can you know doesn't look stagnant but like the interaction is our main focus so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to copy from uh this from this um old design from this sample let me just clip this back so we have So, what we are going to do is copy this illustration, copy it. So, that's for screen one. Let's just place it by the side. Copy for screen two also. I also want to mention something about these illustrations. Especially if you are getting them from the same family. And then the last one. All right. So the first thing we want to do is, um, I mean, so yeah, so we first of all put the illustration for. So the first screen one you know that's a nice illustration of somebody pressing phone so all these things are dummy so i already like have all this all these um, in, um items i already like label them so button so i have the button at the center here then we have this um this progress bar just frame one so the progress bar right um if you notice we have like it's still the same illustration i said illustration the same um interaction so we have so ellipse one ellipse two ellipse three right so because this progress bar is um is uh i'll just show you what i'm trying to say it's the same name with the progress bar here still frame one oh okay this is frame two but the element inside it is let me just you know what let me rename it so we can easily we can relate to um what we call it progress progress bar right so I'll copy this. So they are supposed to have the same name. Remember matching layers. So they have to have like the same name so that it's will smart animate it. So let's smooth this down a bit. So let's let's bring this illustrator. Let's bring this illustration also. in also I just want to copy this let's see here just to make it easy for me let's 
Ja. the progress bar let's bring the progress bar in Okay, so so this is it. I'll do the alignment later. Okay, let me just do it now. I can just pick from this whole screen, then to this alignment. Then pick the progress bar also, just to be sure they are all aligned. Right. So for each. So for for the progress bar, right? We have ellipse one, two, three. So ellipse. Oh, this is one. Okay. Yeah. So this for for the first screen, ellipse one is active, right? Showing that this is like you know we are on screen one. Then when you go from screen one to screen two, screen two, ellipse two is active, like it is the big circle is bigger than the rest, and then. When you go to screen three, we have ellipse three as the big one. So now let's 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 see how it looks now that we have this. So can you see what is going on here? So we are going from this to this and to this. So in order to um avoid this overlapping of illustrations when you are moving from one screen to another we are going to do what we did for 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 like the big circle and the small circle we are going to hide this um small this um screen two illustration inside screen inside screen um yeah inside screen one so we can group it together and then move it in sure that yeah so you can just do shift then do the left arrow so make sure it is outside of the so we can ungroup it here because we don't want anything to you know um sorry sure. just want to Yeah, let's also align this together. Then the text also. Uh, yeah, so we have text too. So align them so that it doesn't. Yeah. So what happens now is that because we have this item. Uh, yeah, because we have illustration two and text two inside screen one already. It won't overlap, I believe so. Let's see. So yes, so it feels as if it is just coming in. So this is just moving out, and this is coming in. So it it won't be overlapping like the way it is. It's doing here. So we we'll do the same thing for screen screen three also. So it is not overlapping again. So it's just moving out. So um here. So you copy illustration three and text three um we copy it and then put it inside screen two and then we move it out to hide it cannot do shifts arrow to move it out and then yes so now we can you know scroll from screen two to screen three without overlapping with illustration so yeah that's so that's it for today's tutorial i hope i've been able to yeah, you know explain it to the best of my ability i know it's kind of complicated but i, I think it's even though it's a very simple um animation it's still kind of like the process is still kind of complicated but 
yeah if you have any question regarding this um you know tutorial you can always send me a dm on twitter or or ig on instagram or you can or um or you can send you can drop your question in the comment section on youtube i will definitely um um answer or like um respond to it basically so yeah thank you so much for tuning in uh, so but before we go i would like to talk about um a particular um platform okay. team fix next gen academy it's oh my battery is low so it's a platform where you get to be trained to become a certified either front-end developer or back-end developer or product design uh, a product designer in six months so it is um it is starting this uh july july 1st 2022 and um they are um uh, they are currently um application is ongoing currently so if you want to apply um, you can use my promo code Ray to get 25% off your application fee. Um, it is strictly for you know beginners that are just getting started, or if you just finish school or intern, um, you can register um, to be trained to be certif to be a certified either front end developer, back end developer, or product designer in six months um it is completely virtual you get to work in group and also you get to be mentored by uh professionals uh, and experts in the in the tech field so i'll take you to their website now to see so this is their website um at nextgen.simfix.com where you get you you will be trained to be a certified product designer or front-end developer or back-end developer in six months um, so for those that you know they are just getting started in the tech field and they would need so and they need a well-structured um, platform to be trained um, I would definitely recommend um, next gen academy so if you have any question about how to get started or how to like register you can reach out to me on Instagram or on Twitter uh at raimat underscore atata so yeah all right so we've come to the end of today's video i hope you've learned a thing or two from this tutorial don't forget to like drop questions in my dm or on in the comment section if you have anything that you would like to ask regarding this tutorial or this video also you can suggest what you would like me to share or um, record or talk about on for my next uh video so thanks for joining and don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with your friends and yeah i'll catch you guys in my next video bye